Shalom Yashrallah. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakrash, the bonus to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who rule and who taught us the truth and salutations to all the Akiyam, pushing the sword in truth and in sincerity with charity. Alright, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who, the, who everyone refers to as God the Almighty. His name means He is, He exists, and some He is all. And then Baha Shem is in the name. And this is all in ancient Hebrew, okay? The ancient or Paleo Hebrew. And Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son of Yahweh, who the world ignorant refers to as JC. Alright, his name is Yahweh Shai. And his name means he saves, he delivers. All right, and he died for the nation of Israel. Okay, starting with the elect. This is the book of John, chapter three, verse sixteen. For God so loved the world, which world? The world of Israel. Right. That he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. All right. And in these last days, all right, the nation of Israel. Uh, would not know the truth they would be lost all right they'd literally be the lost sheep of, of israel you see and you know uh the the lord's only coming to deliver the elect of the nation of israel all right that's why the heavenly father sent his only begotten son yahweh shai who suffered on on that that cross man who, who experienced that horrible death all right who's our mediator who brings us back to the father you see so it, it, you know those that believe this truth hey you're gonna be uh you're gonna have everlasting life you're gonna be saved in these last days you see lord willing your, your name is in the book of life all right and even if you if you believe now and you die in this faith you see you you'll be the first ones to be risen up when you wish i returns to save the rest of us here that are on the earth all right because contrary to popular belief hey the most high or god yahweh he doesn't love everybody all right he doesn't love the whole world like christians like to push out and believe all right that's a lie all right they have no understanding okay the most high only loves his people and his people today collectively here would be you so-called blacks hispanics and native american indians today and also the speckled bird you know because we've been scattered to the four corners of the earth all right so we're among the other nations we're among the heathens you see so that's why this word has to be uh pushed out all right because faith cometh by hearing you see so this is john 17 the book of john chapter 17 verse 9 i pray for them who uh, the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. You see? So, even here it shows you, because this, you know, to these Christians out here, this would be a contradiction. Alright? And, and, and they don't understand it. You see? The Lord's only praying for the elect, because two-thirds of our people... All right, are wicked and they're gonna stay wicked they're gonna stay unjust yeah all right he's only praying for the elect of the nation of israel because not all israel is israel today man all right two-thirds will not make it here they're gonna stay here and be punished with the heathens the, the lord's gonna punish the circumcised with the uncircumcised man all right so the lord's praying for the elect hey and and guess what the elect are in his hands let me get that real quick. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and there shall no torment touch them. You see? You see? So, hey, the Lord got us, man. All right, no matter what we go through, all right, these scriptures, they comfort us, man. All right, like Stephen, when he got stoned, all right, he saw the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, no torment touched him, man, you see? So even if we have to give up our lives, we don't love our lives here, man, all right? You see, so hey, the Lord got us. At the end of the day, the Lord got us. And, and these people can't understand this. So don't even worry about them. You, okay? 
But this is Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1. The Most High, or God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, because we're the mouthpiece. All right? We speak the words of the Lord to these people. We give him the understanding according to his heart. All right, verse 2. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. All right? Don't be simple and think, okay, the earth. We're talking about the, the, the world, the earth, and everybody in it. No, man. All right? These things are written in parables, only for the elect to, to receive and understand. All right, so you have you have the sea world, all right, the world of sports, all right, the the, the world of all types of different things, man. All right, there's a variety of things that could be labeled the world of, all right. But the Bible and and the God of the Bible, our Lord and Savior of the Bible, is for the world of Israel, starting with the elect, man, not for everybody. Okay, it's all about Israel. You see, but this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 50, I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. So, uh, these other nations, alright, the Lord's comparing these other nations to a drop, a little drop that falls from a bucket of water, Okay. You're not concerned with the little drop. It hits the floor. It evaporates. It's gone. It's it, you know you you don't even think about it. No big deal. Whatever. All right. You're more concerned with the bucket, the bucket full of water, man. All right. The Lord's comparing these other nations, right? Because in Genesis the tenth chapter, and later on in like chapter seventeen and eighteen as well, it adds uh, Moab and, and Ammon. But nonetheless, to get to the point. The Lord created nations. There's 18 nations on earth, man. And these, the other 17 nations have had our people in captivity throughout uh, the, you know, the, the ages, the times. And right now, as biblical prophecy says and states, hey, we're at the end because Esau, Edom is the one ruling, man. All right? This is it. Our captivity is coming to an end. The Lord's about to deliver his elect, you see? All right? Because what? The, the Most High so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. You see? And that's why, it, uh, like uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 17, verse 10, says, And the elect shall praise His holy name. All right? Only the elect are going to be doing that, man. The elect are going to believe on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? They're going to believe on His name, on His depiction as described in the scriptures, as a so called black man with woolly hair, with a beard. All right? Not this J.C. Cesare Borgia, you know, imposter, okay? But they're going to hear the truth and believe it, man. All right? So it's not about these other nations, man. Fuck all these other nations. These are heathens, all right? They hate us, all right? They keep us in captivity. They want to oppress us. And even two-thirds of our people are joined on to them, so fuck them too, man. You see? That's why, again, John 17, 9, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. He's not praying for the for all Israel, man. All right, not all Israel is Israel. Not all Israel is going to make it, man. It's all about the elect of the nation of Israel. All right? 144,000 men, 12,000 men from each tribe of Israel, then one-third of Israel. All right, women, children, and men that are predestined for salvation. You see? I'm going to jump to verse 17, Isaiah 40 and 17. All nations before him are as nothing, insignificant, man. You see? And they are counted to him less than nothing. Wow. And vanity, all right? Nothing, man. These people are, 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 are nothing to us, man. They're nothing to the Lord. All right, these are going to be our servants forever. Except Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, all right, is going to get double. All right, he's going to go through the worst in uh, slavery ever all right and then be exterminated thus saith the bible all right deuteronomy 7 and 6 for thou art in holy people holy meaning separate set apart all right not all people are the same we're not the same all right stop believing the bullshit oh we all bleed the same and all no we are not the same we are above these fucking people man these people are be be beneath us all right you guys start thinking 
like royalty because we are royalty we're gods kings and priests all right we are sons of the living power man you see put on as the elect for thou art an holy people unto the lord yahweh thy power yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth so there's no equality man all right there's no equality. These other these other nations were created to serve us, man. All right, and and we're going through all this hell to 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 learn how to rule as gods in righteousness in complete balance. All right, because hey, in the kingdom of heaven, all all Israel is going to be righteous. The Lord is going to put the laws, the statutes, and commandments into our minds permanently, and we will never sin again as a nation. Not one of us. All right, but the other nations that the the you know because after a thousand years you know esau is exterminated the lord's going to allow the other nations to go back into the lands that he's given them and they're going to be tributaries unto us forever all right and they're going to be keeping the laws that just commandments to the best of their ability and, and they're going to be judged righteously all right when they go off because they will go off they're going to be in the flesh um but this is uh, Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devoured thee, right? They all had a part in this, all right? You know, uh, what nation had not had a part of, of, of her, man? Uh, uh, so what is that? First Maccabees chapter 2, verse 10, all right? They all had a piece of us, man. They all touched the apple of the Lord's eyes, so they got to pay, all right? Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, none shall escape, none. And every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Alright? Because the Lord's going to turn our captivity, man, and visit Edom. He's going to visit Moab. He's going to visit Ishmael. He's going to visit all these other nations, Elam and all of them. Alright? They're going to go into captivity. All right. Their households are going to be split up. All right. They're going to know the, the, the loss of children and, 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 you know, family members and loved ones. They're going to experience these things, man. What you did to us, you're going to, it's going to be brought upon your own head double. So fuck you heathens, man. And you fucking two thirds that want to save the heathens, man. You're in the, you're in the wrong spirit. You're in the wrong mind, man. All right, that's why death by pain is coming to you, man. Because there's no other way for Jake to fucking get it. They're stubborn, they're stiff-necked, hard-headed. All right, they're holding up progress, but no, fuck that. The Lord's gonna come save His elect, and He's gonna destroy you two-thirds with these fucking heathens. And with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakurash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who rule well, who taught us his truth and salutations to all the Akiyam, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom. Wa. Kwam Yashrala, man. I almost said it. If you know, you know. <laughs> but you know, I'm saying it. <laughs>